I was somebody who uh, worked in Burlington on the campaign. I kind of clawed my way into that campaign back in July. And um, uh, I, was, uh, I was in a, on an interesting team there. It was called the Distributed Organizing Team. For, for several months, it was just me and Claire Sandberg for 46 states. And one of them was California. And uh, I just want to, as somebody who was on staff, I'm not on staff anymore. I've been off for a couple of months. Um, I want to just say that, uh, you know, as somebody who was based up there in Burlington and uh, was, uh, you know, fighting for the kind of grassroots campaign that we know was possible, that a lot of us knew was possible at the very beginning, and that a lot of you, all of you, proved was possible. And I, w I just want to say that, uh, that you guys did 10 times what was required to win. Okay? And... Uh, you did 10 times what was required to win, and if any one thing had been different, Bernie already would have won. And so we got to keep on fighting. But I just, I really, you know, I've spoken to a, a few little groups of volunteers, and now here's a big group of volunteers and of leaders. You know, this word volunteer needs to be retired for leaders. Um, and, you know, so many of you in this room, you guys did work that was, that is normally expected of regional field directors, you know, on staff. You did work that was, that was expected or that was not even expected of certain state directors in certain states. Like, you guys did amazing stuff. And, uh... And so I want to say that uh, there was another way to run this amazing Bernie campaign from Burlington, right? Uh, I don't want to get all controversial or, or uh, second guessing while the campaign is still going on. But what I want to say is that the way this BNC uh, effort is going to be run, this is being put together by, there's only uh, two of us who were actually staffers on the campaign who are involved in BNC right now. There's, uh, there's about 150 volunteers already working on uh, BNC. It was a whole group of volunteers from around the country that wanted to do this, that were pushing this idea. And, uh, and so what we're doing differently from the very beginning with the BNC is uh, there are not going to be two casts of staffers and volunteers. There's going to be one kind of person leading this movement, and that is a leader. Right? And it doesn't matter if you are working 10 hours after your two-day jobs or 30 hours after your two-day jobs or five hours a week or 40 hours a week. It doesn't, it, if you're making a consistent contribution and you're able to inspire others around you and, you're able, and you have good judgment, then you're going to be one of the key incredibly important leaders in this movement. Yeah. Okay? And it does some people... You know, what we're talking about here, running 400 candidates all over the country, um, all in one giant, united, consolidated campaign, what we're talking about here is really kind of huge, right? And it's not, it's, <laughs> it's huge. I can't, I can't do the huge. But uh, so, so if we think ahead to what it's actually going to take to win all these 400 uh, campaigns, all this one big consolidated campaign of 400 campaigns, what, when we think about what it's going to take, it's actually going to take 10,000 leaders, right? Maybe 20,000 leaders, maybe 30,000 leaders. And again, I don't just mean people showing up to rallies. There's going to be hundreds of thousands and millions of those people. What I'm talking about is 10, 20, 30,000 people opening up volunteer offices, right? Again, let's strike that word from our history. We, uh, you know, opening, we're, gonna have, we're talking about people that are opening up offices. We're talking about people that are running voter contact programs, people that are running teams like the research team to figure out, you know, uh, which will have a whole bunch of sub teams. For example, the ballot access team. How about, how about the election protection team, right? How about having... How about having hundreds of teams working on that in every congressional district? And let's not wait until a couple weeks before the election to think of that stuff, right? We're thinking about that right now, 
We're thinking about that right now for November 2018, okay? And so any one of you here who wants to show leadership and wants to lead others, um, we're going to get you involved, right? And you've got an amazing team here in LA that's gonna get you involved. And uh, right now we're putting together a whole bunch of national teams and those national teams are there to support um, you know, local teams uh, doing the kind of voter contact uh, that, you know, this experiment that Rohan was talking about and all kinds of other stuff. So it's going to take a little while to grow. I think you've heard a couple times that, uh, you know, give folks pay a little bit of patience. Um, I feel like on the Bernie campaign, sometimes I was asking for patience month after month after month as we did not get you your literature and we did not get you... Uh, access to the van and did not get you your offices, right? So if I'm still asking for patience a couple months from now, kick my ass, okay? And um, because we don't have anybody standing in our way uh, between, uh, we don't have anybody standing in our way uh, between where we are right now and making this uh, the most incredible volunteer-powered campaign that anybody's ever seen anywhere. The, the team that Rohan was talking about what we're looking to do is form a voter contact, uh, that's a boring way to say it, voter contact team. Or it's like, I don't know, we need a good name for it. The vote getting team, the vote finding team, GOTV team. Yes, two and a half years before the election, it's our GOTV team. So we need to, so that, So what we really need from that team, and we, we um, you know, we're, we're, we're asking for LA to do this because there are so many amazing organizers in LA. Look, here you are. And uh, so we want to put a team together, and this team is going to have to be pretty darn autonomous, okay? Uh, and so, and your mission is going to be to start finding 100,000 people in a district or per district who are really fed up with Congress. Now, there's about eight, 900,000 people per district. How hard do you think it will be to find one out of eight or nine people who are pretty fed up with Congress? Do you think that'll be difficult? Right. Okay, so that's the easy part is finding them. So, and we need, but we, but how how are we going to find them in those huge numbers of a hundred thousand? We need to put a team together that will start racking up those names and their cell phone numbers. And I've actually I've hung out with a few congressional campaigns and done a little research. And there's a really cool thing uh, is if you ask somebody if somebody's like, yeah, I'm fired up and I'm angry. I'd love to throw these guys out. Uh, if you ask them for their cell phone number, they will give it to you. It, this is a back in my day. This did not happen, you know. So people didn't give out their phone numbers. So they'll give you their phone number. They'll give you their cell number. And then how many people use text for Bernie? How many people did text for Bernie or received a text from from Bernie? Right? You know what I'm talking. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys are amazing. So every hand went up about text for Bernie, pretty much. So 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 what we're going to be able to do is is when we make contact with this per potential voter, we're going to ping them via text, we're going to get them registered, right? And then we're going to get them to request an absentee ballot if in your state that's the right way to do that. That's the best way to do that. And then we're going to chase those ballots. Um, and so and we're going to stay on them, right? Not just using text messages, but also using the phone and also going to their house. So we sort of need a big block of, and we're just throwing this number out there because it's nice and round. We need a block of 100,000 potential voters who are really angry about how things are going, and they're conscious, and they're aware. And then we're going to tell them about this alternative, that they can vote for a brand new Congress. And then we're going to get at least, you know, for our win number to turn out, which might be in some places that's 15,000. In some places it's 30,000. In some places it's 50,000. And, and so we need to start developing a program that we will then replicate across every, not just every congressional district, but every county and then every town. Right, so we need a team of like ten or twenty people here out of this room to um, to to work together to dis discover the right tactics, and that could be holding you know bands for the BNC events. It could be going door to door. It could be hitting people up outside the grocery store. Um, yeah. And so we're also going to have outreach, like for example, myself. You all know that I was with Unidos con Bernie, right? So that was the Spanish speaking the Latino <laughs> outreach. So we're going. We will have Latino outreach. We will have African American, Asian American. We've got Michael Shu here who rallied the Chinese, the Asian uh, uh, American population over. Michael, where are you? Between Michael Carter and Michael Shu, they rallied. They they put national commercials on Chinese TV. Okay. So so we're gonna we're gonna make. Sure
make sure that we're, we're talking to our communities in their language and making sure they understand the process because they've been run by people who don't understand their culture, their language, anything. I want to just sort of say that, uh, you know, there's going to be all these different projects and programs, and it's really important for each one to be focused on its goal. And, uh, and we can all support each other, but, but we want to achieve our goals, right? And so, and so the goal of this particular project, so if you come in, if you come onto a leadership team with BNC, uh, we want to be supportive and help out and go work on all kinds of other projects. And we want to also be really um, careful to achieve our goal and be focused when, when we really need to be focused. And this particular goal of this particular project, out of all of the hundreds of projects that are gonna be emerging out of the Bernie campaign and all the other hundreds that were already there, is to take over.